are back inside the Porte de Versailles in Paris and let's begin this segment with something sexy. The Lamborghini Gallardo LP564 sees the Gallardo range getting a slight facelift, changes in the front and rear. There's also a new LP570 Edizione Technica specification with new colors, a fixed rear wing and carbon ceramic brakes. On to cousin Porsche next which showed us this, the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo. The Sport Turismo is of course a hybrid model from Porsche but it's, uh, but is actually the right word because it's at the rear where the big styling changes happen for this car. Now, take a look at some of the other elements, very sharply done lines but uh, you know the thing is that when the first Panamera came out, everybody said that look, it's a little bit forced, it's a little exaggerated this whole thing that you're trying to do with a four-door, four or five-seater vehicle. At the back is where it starts to get really sexy now. Now, this is, to some people, perhaps, uh, you might want to call it a station wagon if you're unkind, but you know what? Frankly, the proportions all just sort of seem to come together a whole lot more. It looks uh, a whole lot more refined, too. And it won't be surprising if the entire Panamera family eventually starts to look like this at the rear. Ferrari always brings in the crowds and this carbon fibre tub certainly got us hooked. The chassis for the next generation Enzo car-like indicates derivatives from Formula 1. The car will be a limited edition and will most likely be hybrid too. Sister company Alfa Romeo always features some stunning Italian beauties as does Maserati which impressed with this. The Gran Cabrio MC gets the MC Stradale performance into the four-seater convertible now. Now to a lot of people, the A-Class is uh, still pretty new, they haven't had a chance to see it before so they get a chance to do that here at Paris, but uh, it's the same perhaps with the CLS shooting brake, the station wagon version, but oh my god, take a look at this. Now, ah, oh, I have no words, words fail me. This is how you do a show car, isn't it? This isn't paint, this is a bit of a vinyl finish that's been uh, pasted on there, but uh, nice and bright and blue. And if that wasn't enough, uh, you know, to make sure that all the photographers look at this car, well, the white, uh, slightly overdone metallic finish alloy wheels certainly will. It's the electric drive version of the SLS AMG and uh, the whole idea here is to, once again, for a lot of the German manufacturers, especially those who make performance cars, you know, turn around and say that, look guys, we can do environmentally conscious and environmentally friendly, yet performance-oriented cars. Mercedes-Benz also used the opportunity to dress its B-Class in a similar fashion, also an electric drive concept. The ATS is uh, a car we showed you from uh, Pebble Beach as well, from the Quail Gathering. You can get a slightly closer look at it right now if you like. And uh, you know, the thing is overall Cadillac styling and build quality and just overall quality parameters have just gone up. And so it's becoming more of a stronger, let's say, rival to the German brand. Look at this uh, finish in terms of just the way the styling and the execution has been carried out in the headlamp. You're seeing a lot of lines in the metal as well and uh, you know this is a nice compact smart looking car. Something like this well would always work in India but still too prem premature to start talking about Cadillac. Daylight treatment again nice and aggressive very sharp so different from what is in the market. Really different boot as well and of course the uh, famous Cadillac point coming out here little arrowhead of a stop light as well at the back really sharp, very different and uh, really very attractive. Bentley unveiled the Continental GT3 race car, exhibiting the brand's ambitions of wanting a return to motorsport. On to humbler things and we showed you the Echo Sport last week. Ford also showed us the new B-Max and this Tornier concept. While Volkswagen debuted its much-touted new 7th generation Golf based on the new NQB modular chassis that we saw with the Audi A3. Remember? The Golf GTI also made its debut here. Sadly, no India plans still for the Golf. Small micro cars are of course efficient but they're also cute, they're stylish and they're very retro inspired and that's again what you're seeing here from Opel, the Adam, 
is of course a tribute to Adam Opel, the founder of uh, the company. But more than that, what you're also getting is uh, just this feel that look, it's cars like this that are going to be more practical going forward. So you might as well work on them to make them a little bit sexier and a little bit more attractive. And uh, once again, like the Cinquecento from Fiat, the Fiat 500, and even other cars like the Audi A1, you're seeing a sloping little roof line and lots of two-tone. Looks pretty cute, doesn't it? The new Skoda identity no longer on just a concept. This is actually a production car. And of course, unlike the Indian Rapid, the European Rapid is a hatch at the back, so it's not just a regular boot. And uh, it's going to stand this car in good stead because Skoda wants to once again occupy that compact executive sedan space, which the uh, previous generation Octavia used to occupy. I mean, the Laura is a lot bigger, right? What we call the Laura, which is the current Octavia here in Europe. Now, look at the uh, styling elements. Again, very similar to the concept you saw at Geneva. And I told you then that the uh, European Rapid will be bigger than the Indian Rapid. Look at this, the new grille, the very simplified logo again and sharp, sharp lines in the headlamp cluster, down in the bumper and of course sharp lines in the body as well going to the back and in the hood. All of these elements you will find in the uh, facelift of the Superb which arrives about February or March globally and then of course in the next generation Octavia 2 which will arrive later next year. So plenty to look forward to globally but hey even for us in India the Chevy Trax, the Jaguar F-Type, Suzuki S-Cross, the Jeep Grand Cherokee and of course the Ford EcoSport to name a few. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view faster response time and Sudoku NDTV's new iPad app download now